Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. For the last year, I have learned an awful lot about film and photography, what to use and what not to use. And there's different things you wanna use when you're at home versus when you're on the trail. So there's actually been a couple different things that I take every single trip to be able to create the content that you all love. There might be a game changer among all of the photography equipment available. And that's something that I am super excited to share with you guys today. But first, let me share with you what I am currently using for my overall setup. Our drone comes with us everywhere, and if there's a good opportunity for some aerial footage, that's what we'll use this for. This right here is a screen to see when it's really bright out. Believe it or not, it's super necessary when you're trying to film. This is my go-to vlog camera when we're doing anything out on the trail or anything that involves motion because it has the rock steady feature to it which is super handy because I don't have the steadiest hand and I don't want to make any of you guys motion sick. So this is my go-to. And then we have our GoPro that we mount to things for any of the action shots. Then we have our DSLR and our Joby tripod. The DSLR is really nice for the good quality photos. A lot of the cover photos or any of the photo shoots that we do for the clothing hauls, um, that's something that we use that camera a lot for. I will use that for vlogging if I'm able to and it's we're not doing a lot of motion or movement but that camera gets really heavy and it makes it really difficult to hold out here spot and vlog and spot and not be shaky and there's too much going on and sony may have just figured out the perfect vlog camera there's a lot of other youtubers out there who won't stop talking about how great this camera is so i had to order it and well we're going to put it to the test i'm hoping to replace all of this to this. All right, now let's dive into what's in the box. So the Sony ZV-1 camera, which is what I have right here, comes with the battery, the micro USB charge cable, and the microphone, which attaches as a hot shoe on top of the camera. And now for the fun part, the camera. So this little camera right here, it's my first time picking it up and it is so light and compact. You guys, look how small it is. I could see that being a very useful feature when you're trying to vlog. Another really useful feature that more camera places should do is that right there, I can see myself and then I'm not having to look through a screen that's super small. I love my action camera, but it is a little hard to see. It's a little tricky to see this when you're trying to vlog. <laughs> There's a lot of multitasking that goes on when I vlog, so having less to worry about is a nice thing and that's what i'm hoping to get out of this camera and without further ado i'm going to take you guys along with me as i play with this camera and just see how great this vlog camera really is remember if you like this video hit the like button and uh subscribe if you want to see more i'm missing something i gotta get my legs i know that didn't make any sense but this is what i mean the sony vlogger kit it's something that is going to pair hopefully pretty spectacularly with this camera I'm gonna pair them together and see if this is truly the best option for vloggers out there. So I wanna give you guys some bonus content. I didn't like make you wear the hat or anything. I chose to wear this. You are asking me to take it off. I think that's a great idea, but then I'm like, wait a minute. Where am I gonna put this? We still haven't figured out the mic issue. Cook with your hair. <laughs> okay. All right, let's set the time zone and then move on. Do I the 15th? Yes, it's the 17th. <laughs> I really like how clear the screen is and it's easy to use too. Whoa, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go play with it, you guys. So you guys are probably wondering where we're at and what we're up to because let's be honest, we don't even know what we're doing half the time or at least where we're going because our day changes constantly. Well, our day today brought us to Prescott. We are over here the guys from Road Armor, and really excited about this one, you guys. Um, as you can see, there are things missing from the back of our JT. We're here today to remedy that, and I will share with you guys what that is coming up. That is going to be installed onto our JT, and I'm gonna meet with Chris, who's the engineer of that system, and go over some more information for you guys on why this particular rack is so much different than anything else on the market.
What? Why are you feeling me? Look at how crazy. This particular rack fits on every single uh, mid-size uh, pickup truck. So this same rack can be transferred to a Colorado, to a Ranger, uh, to the uh, Canyon. How are your carriage bolts coming? Oh, I gotta find that over here. Yep. These are the two main arches. How does this, is this the right way? Yeah, you lift it up. It goes all just, the way up. Just, just like this one. Just like this. Got it. Chris, so what do you think? Oh, I already see massive improvements, and um, I love the thought and the detail that went into creating this. It's obvious when putting it together that there was a, a lot more, that, yeah. A little research went into it. Well, I, I like mean, how the, channel the first thing that I noticed is all of the holes seem to make sense, and a lot of the other racks that we've seen seem to be kind of like whatever, whatever, and. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing this on our JT and, and seeing what we get out of it. Uh, I like the right here. This is all open, so you can mount lights in here. You can put an LED light strip. Plenty of adjustability for stuff you want to mount. So I do have to say this Sony camera is very light. Yeah, it's, it's a dream to use. Um, the one thing I did notice earlier when I was Playing around with it, um, a lot of times when we film, we like to wear sunglasses when we're outside. Um, part of that's because I can't see without my regular glasses, and um, the other part is it's just nice for camera angle, where you're not always focused on your eyes, being directly on the lens. Um, you, we can't wear our sunglasses while we're using that camera because our sunglasses are polarized, which um, Sony camera is not equipped for, so I can't actually see the screen with my sunglasses on. Um, but aside from that, everything else has been pretty yeah, good. easy. You're making me look bad. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so this right here slides into the rail right here. Yeah. And then what they did, they recessed the nuts into the bracket. So that way you don't need to take apart any of this. You just take this, slide it in, and slide it down, and then mount your rack. So super simple, you don't take anything extra apart. I mean, look at it. It's clear attention to detail. So? It's awesome. So right where you see that that dip come in, uh -huh. that was just lying right up to that crease. That one is pretty straightforward as well, just uh, because there's powder coat right at the edge of they put plugs in the nuts. Yeah, and they give it so that's uh, awesome. If you could get one or two threads started kind of snug it and don't tighten it all the way. The design of this makes it really easy to put it all together. It's great. There it is. Road Armors adjustable rack. It's pretty good. I like it. Okay, we got our Max Racks. Here we go. We got mounting pins, hats, stickers, patches. Yes! We finally got the rack that we have been wanting to get on this JT for a very long time. And the engineer for this rack, Chris, want to come over here real quick? Sure. I'll make it quick so you're not in the sun. No um, I wanted to ask him a few questions and give you guys some answers. You said there's a couple of patents on it that's specific for this. You want to go into that a little bit more? Sure. Yeah. So this is the Road Armor Trek rack. Um, it's a fully modular setup. Uh, we designed it uh, originally for all mid-size pickup trucks, so this same rack can go on any mid-size pickup truck you know, because of the way that it telescopes up and down and in and out, so it can fit essentially any five-foot bed. Utility, it's modularity, um, and then the ability to mount a plethora of accessories on it. It's got top rails, bottom rails to secure straps. Uh, rails to mount rails to. <laughs> yeah, it's rails to mount rails to, absolutely. Um, and then it comes with all the provisions that you need, all the slotting, so there's no drilling or anything like that necessary. Um, and basically, any sort of rooftop tent will mount directly to the top of the rack. Um, it's adjustable. Uh, from 14 inches to 19 inches, and then to the top uh, is 23 inches, and it gives you enough deflection uh, for any sort of movement, uh, heavy off-roading, things like that, when you have a very large uh, four-person tent on top. That way, when they overhang the cab, it's not going to damage your, uh, the top of your 
uh, Jeep or, or truck, whatever you have uh, the rack itself on. Uh, we really appreciate the time that you took today to help us get this installed and to explain everything. And yeah, Absolutely. thank you. Thank you very much. Um, if you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see where we end up with this rack, what we end up putting on it and how it ends up looking, hit the subscribe button and those videos will be coming out in the future. Um, but anyways, we are going to get on the road and on to our next Here, adventure. Stop. Oh yeah, that's part of our adventure.